Guys, my mom brought me this candy cane sugar cookie and I'm so excited <laughs> to eat this. Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. I have a day tonight, I'm kind of nervous, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna be using to moisturize my face is the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I've been using this for a while, it's almost empty. I just love it for moisturizing my face. Oh, guys, can we talk about how long this week is taking to go by? I just feel like it's taking forever. <laughs> and I just need it to be Friday already. There's my dog barking. I have a golden retriever. Her name is Daisy. She is 11 years old. Love of my life. So, yes, I had my last day of clinicals today, so that was exciting. Um, tomorrow's our final day where we go in class and take our final test using NYX Angel Veil, by the way, to prime. Um, I feel like it'll be pretty easy. I'm not too worried about it. It's just basically a combination of the three tests we've had in the past, which I got all A's on because it was all multiple choice and kind of easy. So I'm not really worried about that. You guys have finals coming up, right? Like, I'm not in any other classes besides my CNA class. If you guys are studying for finals, just remember that finals aren't everything. There's all this pressure on finals and doing well in a class. And, like, this isn't your life. School is only a por small portion of your life. And I'm learning that still as I am still in school myself. <laughs> for foundation, I'm going in with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me in 110, the lightest shade, per usual. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep myself pretty stress-free. I like to burn candles, watch Netflix, watch YouTube. Sometimes I'll draw or paint. <laughs> I look like a Dalmatian. Just things that'll clear my mind and prepare me and let me work in a good mental headspace. And I'm also trying to eat well. Um, they say that eating certain foods are like health foods, you know, help your concentration and focus. And also, <laughs> we should be eating healthy anyways. Like, I'm horrible. Like, eat out all the time and it's really bad and I need to stop. So this final week has been like a good reminder to drink my water, eat healthy, because it all affects your brain and your mind and how everything works. It's all connected. If you guys have any studying tips or ways you keep your sanity during finals week, leave them below because I'm sure a lot of other people would benefit <laughs> from hearing those. Now we have our base on. I'm going to go ahead and contour with my Mega Glow Contour in Call Me Maple. Okay guys, I went on <laughs> a crazy date last night. Um, so I'm not in any classes as of now, like besides my CNA, and there's only one guy in that, and Lord knows, like, that's a tough selection, one guy for 10 girls. So I have recently downloaded, purchased, whatever, um, the app Bumble, <laughs> and uh, I've been talking to a few guys on there, and so... Last night, I went on a date, my first date in like a long time, with a guy named, maybe I should not say his name, <laughs> would that be mean? He'll know if he's watching this, I'm, okay, whatever. His name was Derek, and, oh man, it started off really well, it did. Um, he was a male model, so that was interesting. He, we, okay, first we went to Pad Thai, which I don't know if anyone likes Thai food. I love Thai food personally. Um, it's one of my favorite foods besides sushi. And so I was super excited to eat there. Like, I always order um, Pad Thai if we're not, if I'm not like in a group getting a big order. So I got my usual Pad Thai and he got like this chicken wonton salad or something. And there was like a ton of dressing in it. Like, and he, complained that he doesn't like dressing, but he didn't tell the waitress or anything, so he was stuck with it for his whole meal. And <laughs> um, he proceeded to eat like maybe 10% of his meal. And I kept like telling him, I was like, Derek, you need to eat your food. Like, you need to eat. And he just would not. He was like, um, I don't like soupy textured things, so I'm not going to eat it. And I was like, Okay, and then, okay, so, like, I understand if you don't like a meal and, like, it's not your cup of tea, 
But then he proceeded to tell me all of the food, like, he looked at my plate and he kind of analyzed it, and then he was like, oh my gosh, you've eaten like a whole cow. Excuse me, when has that become okay to say to a woman? Like, literally, why would you comment on the amount of food that I'm eating when you obviously have only eaten 10%? It just really rubbed me the wrong way. And... <laughs> The, and the whole time, he's just commenting on how much pad thai I've eaten. I'm like, yes, I'm a woman I, that loves to eat. Like, I I am a food connoisseur. Like, I literally love food. Like, and if my man is not down with that, then I don't think I can be with you. So that was just a horrible experience. Um, yeah, there's not much else to that story. <laughs> It was just kind of a kind of a weird situation. I didn't <laughs> I didn't know what to do and I just kinda laughed it off like Yeah, I ate so much. But like wh <laughs> why? <laughs> why <laughs> why would you say that to me? Ugh. And he was like, you know you could save that for leftovers if you wanted and I was like probably 75% done with my food and I was just like, why would I save 25% of my meal when I could just eat it now? <laughs> That was an interesting date, yes. But I'm going on another date tonight because I did not learn the first time that dates do not go well. <laughs> oh, Allie, crazy. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Pixie by Petra um, like a concealer. I feel like this is a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape, but like it has kind of a chemical smell. Um, so that's slightly a concern, just, just a little. I mean, it's not horrible, like, I can still use the product, but I don't love the smell of it, for sure. Let's hope tonight's date goes better than last night, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna lose hope in humanity and ever finding someone. Like, I wanna find someone to live the rest of my life with. Maybe, okay, maybe not now, like, at age 18, but, like, yes, that's what I'm, like, looking for when I go on dates. Like, I'm not here just to mess around. Like, I mean business. I want someone I can do life with, not just, like, one dinner, didn't like it, done, you know? I don't know. I just I want a best friend that I can also, like, kiss. <laughs> Friends with benefits, but actually in a relationship. <laughs> now I'm going to put the Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal powder on my face just to even everything out. I'm actually going to take my Fit Me Fair powder and I'm going to apply that just directly under the contour just to kind of give that a little bit more shape and make it less harsh because I did a bad job blending it the first time. All right, let's do some brows. I'm not gonna do like a heavy makeup look because I'm going on that date and last night I wore really heavy makeup and he actually complimented me on it, which was super nice of him. He asked me if I like loved makeup or something because it looked pretty good and that was nice of him to say and I think he genuinely meant it. You know, coming from the model world, I guess you can make comments like that because you're used to receiving them. Oh, and this is the Ardell Brow Pen in medium brown shade reference. Or color. <laughs> color reference. Gosh, Ellie, get your makeup facts right. Ah! I want to talk about, like, current events, but I have no idea of what's going on in the world, so don't come to my videos looking for updates on the news because you won't get any, as I know zilch about what's happening in the world right now. i just rather spend my time doing other things, I guess. Not that the news is not important, but... And that was my MAC eyebrow crayon in... I have no idea. It's a brown little marker thing, so I'm assuming it's brown. And then my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel in brunette. What were we talking about? Dates? My dating life is failing miserably. Yeah, I think that was it. Anyways, see how tonight's date goes. If it doesn't go well, I'm probably just gonna get off Bumble for a while. Well, if it goes well, I'm gonna keep talking to the guy and therefore will not be on Bumble anymore. But either way, I'm probably not gonna be on Bumble anymore just because... It's so much work, like, keeping up conversations with strangers. Like, you're like, hey, what's up? How are you? And then they're like, I'm good. How are you? And you're always like, good. I'm doing so-and-so. And it just keeps going and going, and you never really actually get into a conversation. You know what I mean? Like, it's just right here when I want it to be, like, up here in connection. And, like, I want so much more for all of my relationships. You know, that's, like, something I will always probably want, like, is having, um aspirations just in general but also for relationships because 
I just think relationships are so important. Oh, and that was my Maybelline Brow Precise Illuminating Perfector that I'm using. And then like a little angled whatever to comb, <laughs> to comb, to blend that concealer out. I just, I can't settle for mediocrity in relationships. I just, I desire so much for all of my relationships and it's just frustrating when one aspect of my life, like the dating aspect, is not going as how I want and it just seems to like keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again. Dating is hard. It really is. Like, people say that, and then when you find a person you like, like, that you date, you're like, oh, dating's not hard. It's just maintaining a relationship. But actually, it is hard. You have, First, you have to find the person. Then you have to, like, actually know that you want to be with that person. And then you have to go further in a relationship and get comfortable enough with each other that you're, like, actually okay with talking about life, like, actual life with them, not just, like, yeah, I'm good. And then my Too Faced bronzer in milk chocolate. Just gonna bronze up the outer portion of my face. And this really does smell like chocolate, guys. Like, Too Faced has amazing scents. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about their melted latex whatever. Like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna hop on that train. But I love the smell of their eyeshadows and um, their, well, their bronzers, obviously, because I'm using one. Um... But yeah, I just love the smells. Like, it gives me life. And I'm using the Lamora Flat Kabuki T01 brush. Not that it matters. Like, you can use pretty much any brush to bronze since it really is such a wide motion. Or like, what is it called? Not precise. Is that a thing? And then I'm going to prep the lids with my NYX White Eyeshadow Base. Surprise. <laughs> Anyone who's ever watched me knows I use this. It's my only eyeshadow base that I used. Guys, my mom brought me this candy cane, <laughs> this candy cane sugar cookie, and I'm so excited <laughs> to eat this for many reasons. I love giving gifts and wrapping them and then writing, like, from Allie to mom, like, in cursive. It just makes me so happy. I got all my Christmas shopping done. I got my brother some... Well, I can't say because he might watch this and make fun of me for it. The only reason he watches my videos <laughs> is to make fun of me for him, so... I can't say, but I will say I got my mom a, okay, so I painted this picture of some of her favorite flowers, which are peonies, and I painted them in watercolor, and then framed it in, like, this silver frame. It looks pretty good, um, and then I got her, like, a ceramic mug from Anthropology that was kind of, like, robin egg blue, and then it had a G, which is the first letter of her name, like, engraved, kind of embossed on it. I cannot get this plush open. <laughs> And then I got her some magnets that are flowery um, to put on her little memory board thing that she always has for important events. Oh, and this blush is the Apricot in the Middle Wet and from Wet n Wild. And this is honestly like the perfect nude blush. Like it gives you color but it doesn't, it's not pinky. So yeah, that's what I got my mom. I just got my dad a few shirts. Um, he's really hard to shop for. Like I wanted to get him something from Adidas because they were having a sale and I got like this hoodie for myself. <laughs> so selfish. And I wanted to get him something since I was already doing an order and it was like a special Black Friday deal. But he's super hard to shop for and I didn't want to get him something that I couldn't return in store so I just got him like two shirts from Target, um, like one blue one and one gray one. And then I got my cousin this really cute shirt from Target. It's like, it's, like lace choker neck, um, Kind of like a halter, but it comes to a normal shirt would on the beginning of your shoulder. It's really cute. Um, I think she'll like it. Hopefully she likes it, because I don't know what else I would get her if she doesn't like it. And I'm just curling my eyelashes with my normal eyelash curler. I honestly don't know where I got this. Like, I've had this for so long. I should probably replace it, because the pad that, like, touches your eyelid, that makes it soft and not metal to skin hurting thing is gone. Huh. Yeah, that probably would be a smart idea, Allie. You're gonna like rip your eyelashes out. So then I'm going to go in with my Just Peachy Mattes palette from Too Faced. Again, like this smells amazing. It smells like summer and sweet tea and peaches. And I'm taking the Just Peachy color right here and I'm going to use that on my lid as my transition color. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty prepared for Christmas. I don't have any more shopping to do, which is good, but I also, like, it was fun to shop. Like, I want to shop more, like, for other people. You know, I shop for myself, but that's not very fun. It's just, like, 
I don't really need this, why get it? Like, that's the state I've been in. Like, have, do you guys ever get into moods where you cannot justify spending any money on yourself? Like, literally, no matter what the object is right now, I cannot justify spending that money on myself. Like, I will not go and get it, no matter what it is, whether it's, like, makeup or clothes or food. I'm like, no, I need to save my money. You do not need this right now. You need to, like, cut off on your spending. So literally I've spent money on gas and like food for when my best friend came in town and we went to Chipotle and Sushi Uni. But that's all the money I've spent this month, which granted isn't that impressive because it's literally December 6th. <laughs> oh, Allie. Six days into the month and you're already bragging about how much you haven't spent. But anyways, I'm just kind of in that not spending mood lately. And then I'm going to go in with Fresh Picked, which is a darker version of the Just Peachy. And I'm going to apply that to the outer V of my eye, just to kind of give it a little bit more depth and warmth. But yeah, I'm super excited for Christmas this year. Um, it's My brother's coming in town from um, Tulsa. He's at Co Tulsa for college now. And I'm excited to see him since we literally have lived our whole lives together. It's weird with him not in the house. I always feel like I'm like the only child now and I don't like that feeling because my parents are all <laughs> up on me about where I am and what I'm doing and that all of the time and I'm just ready for that for all that direct attention to stop so hopefully it will around Christmas what do you guys have planned for Christmas like I feel like a lot of people have traditions for Christmas yet like we don't know about them like I feel like my friends and I don't talk about that I'm going in with peach tart um don't talk about traditions and like what they do for the holidays. For New Year's I go to my grandma's house and we always um, eat ham and <laughs> and just hang out. And she gives everyone a check which is <laughs> super nice. I don't know why that was the first thing I said about going to grandma's. And then my mom's side sometimes um, has a ringing in the New Year so New Year's Eve. Is that right? New Year's Eve? We will ring in the New Year and have wine and have, just have a good time with family. I love being on my mom's, going to my mom's side of the family because my uncles are so fun. My uncle Ken literally is so amazing, like so awesome. I love him. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take some of the peaches and cream and brighten up the rest of my eye. It's not that I don't like my dad's side of the family, it's just my mom's side is a lot younger and I just find it easier to conversate with them about like current things going on in my life and their life and stuff. Let me know what your guys' traditions are. Um, maybe we have some of the same similar traditions. Anyways, before we do liner, I want to use my Stila Magnificent Metals. This is the color Rose Gold Retro, and I'm going to apply that to the center of my lid to just give this look a little bit of a kick. And then I'm just building my way up less and less as I get closer to my crease. It's just a little bit too intense, so I'm going to go in with a brush and just kind of gently blend that in. So yeah, I'm excited for Christmas. Not much going on actually for Christmas, but I love it all the same. I just love the Christmas decorations and the music and the colors and the lights. The lights are probably my favorite. In Kansas City, we have something called the Plaza, which is like basically like a huge district shopping center. And every year they light it up with a lot of lights. A lot. And it is so beautiful there. And I just love going down there, not even like to shop, like even like just to eat something. It is so beautiful. These um, Magnificent Metals are literally gorgeous. I cannot recommend them enough. Okay, we're going to highlight the brow bone with our peach meringue. I don't know why it's called peach meringue. That doesn't really make that much sense to me, but... So yeah, Christmas. Not much happens after Christmas. I guess... Oh, I start all of my classes. So I'm taking 14 credit hours next semester which is a lot more than I'm taking now I'm only taking five with my CNA which I mean 14 isn't like absurd like a lot of people take more than me I'm aware but like transitioning from five credit hours to to 14 is definitely a big transition so just a little bit nervous for that so for eyeliner today I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Liner and liner has always been hard for me to do and then doing it on camera just adds a whole nother dimension of hard. So I'm going to do my best but I will probably epically fail at you guys. Okay, not too bad so far and now it's bad. 
Okay, Allie. Ah, I want a fine line. I don't want that. It's kind of hard to build the liner over the Stila Magnificent Metals. I literally cannot talk while I'm doing liner. Like, I already can't do liner as it is. And just adding talking in it is just not a good idea for me. Okay, eyeliner is done. Now I'm going to highlight my face using... I do things out of order. I just realized that. And also, I'm not chatting anymore. Just because, like... <gasps> my cookie! Like, I already went all the way up to January in my... <laughs> in my last little talking spiel. Anyways, now we're gonna highlight the face and we're using the Pixie Collab with Aspie Novard in London Luster. And I actually just dropped this today. It got all cracked around the edges and I'm so, so sad. And we're gonna apply this highlight on the highest points of our face, temple, under the brow bone. Just apply it haphazardly. Oh, I usually do this with a brush, whoops. That glow though, like I literally love this highlighter so much. And the color is perfect for how light my skin is. Like it's it's also not too shimmery. Like some of the ColourPop ones I feel like are maybe a little bit too sparkly for me. And I feel like that London Luster is just perfect for my skin tone and everything. So today for mascara I'm going to be using the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. And... I like this mascara. I wasn't super impressed. I probably would have gotten, what is it, the TARDIS Pro mascara. But, I mean, this isn't horrible. Gets the job done. Guys, I'm so nervous for my date. What if I eat too much and then I get reminded again about how much I eat? <laughs> that honestly shouldn't even be a thing. Like, why on earth would you comment on someone's amount, volume of food? Like, why? I just don't understand some people. I really don't. I love how my talking has slowly decreased when I get on parts of my face that are harder for me. Like liner absolutely kills me. I cannot do liner for my life, especially on camera and even more, I can't do it when I'm talking. All right, and then I'm gonna set everything with my e.l.f. complexion brush and the Fit Me powder from Maybelline in Fair. I forgot to do nose highlight. Let's just go back into our little highlighter there. Ugh, I love a good glow. Glow, baby, glow. Oh, I didn't finish setting my face. For lips, I'm going to take my Milani Matte Darling in the shade. <laughs> that is the shade. And then to top off our matte lipstick, I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Gloss in the shade 115 Blush. And I love these. Like, all of the L'Oreal Pro Matte and Pro Gloss are amazing. I love their texture, the way they stay on the lip. And they glide on so easily with this. It's like a little, the little heel or like the doll. What is, oh my god, why can't I? The doll tip? Oh well, the little applicator. Doe foot, it's little doe foot applicator. It just fits into your lip beautifully, and it adds a gorgeous finish to your lips. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys had fun with um, the chatty get ready with me. I know it was a long video. Glad you stuck with me, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye!